come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are in the presence of our Saviour Jesus, let us bow and surrender ourselves to our Saviour who has come to be with us, to listen to us and to bless us. Let us then surrender to our loving Saviour, Jesus Christ, our lives. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you for this day that you have blessed us with. Thank you, Jesus, for the restful sleep. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up to experience your love this day. Lord, as we begin this day, we ask you to be with us so that all that we do today, all that we speak today, all that we think today, may everything we do, may we bring and give you praise and honor. Lord Jesus, Today, as we come in your presence, we want to tell you that we love you. We want to express our feelings to you. Our words will always fall short for the love that you have shown to each one of us. Lord, you know how much we love you. There are times we fail to show you our love. Today, Jesus, as we come in your presence, accept our very selves as we give it into your loving hands. We want, Lord, to spread your love to our brothers and sisters. We want today, as we go out doing our daily works, we want, Lord, that we go out and bring healing to our brothers and sisters by our presence, by our words. Bless us, Jesus. Strengthen us, Jesus. Jesus, today as we are in your presence, we pray in a very special way for the childless couples. There are many couples, Lord, who are childless. And sometimes they are imagining and thinking that probably you have not blessed them. Lord, as we are in your presence, we ask you to enlighten their hearts and minds that they may realize that it is not that you don't love them. May all their negativities towards you, may all their false understanding give way to the teachings and the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for all these couples. May they continue to be strength to one another and not desert one another or blame one another, but continue to accompany in their difficult ways. Lord Jesus, we ask you, if it is your will, as that leper who came to you and said, Lord, if you want to heal me, and you said, yes, I want to heal, in that same manner, Lord, we bring before you all the childless couple this day and asking you to bless them. Let us continue, dear brothers and sisters, to be in this praise and worship manner and honor to our Savior Jesus and surrender ourselves as we continue to praise him and adore him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, Lord Jesus Christ is our Good Shepherd. Let us join our hearts and minds in praising our Savior Jesus for His love, for His sacrifice to each one of us. 
Let us praise and worship our Savior Jesus in and through this canticle of Isaiah chapter 40 where he says, The Good Shepherd is God the Most High. As we recite this canticle, let us surrender ourselves to our Good Shepherd, especially all the childless couple. And if you know them, kindly place and offer them at the Lord's feet at this very moment as we recite this canticle, The Good Shepherd is God the Most High. Behold, the Lord God comes with might, and His arm rules for Him. Behold, His reward is with Him, and His recompense before Him. He will feed His flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in His arms. He will carry them in His bosom, and gently lead those that are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with a span and closed the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord or as his counselor has instructed him? Whom did he consult for his enlightenment and who taught him the path of justice? taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are accounted as the dust on the scales. Behold, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor are its beasts enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to listen to the words of our Savior, Jesus. Scripture reading, a reading from a letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 10 to 11. Though your body may be dead, it is because of sin. But if Christ is in you, then your spirit is life itself, because you have been justified. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through his spirit living in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to place our prayers and petitions Let's continue to pray in a special way for the childless couples. Let's continue to pray for peace in the world, especially between Iran and Israel. Let's pray for each one of us. Let's pray for all the people whom we have promised and who have asked us to pray for. We pray for your intentions. We pray for the souls in the purgatory. We pray for all those who have no one to pray for. Let us bring before all of them and surrender in and through our prayer to our blessed Lord. And let's ask Him to bless as we make this healing prayer for the childless couple. Let us ask the Lord to shower His manifold blessings as I recite this healing prayer. Heavenly Father, you bless Zechariah's wife Elizabeth in her old age with her son John the Baptist to prepare the way for the Lord so we know nothing is impossible with you if we but seek you in faith. 
Dear Lord, the pain of childlessness is rather deep. All our lives, we dream of being mothers or fathers, of raising children with loving hearts to do your will on earth. Month after month, when that dream simply fails to come true, it hurts so much, Lord. We feel like our dreams die each month with empty arms. Strengthen our bodies, minds and spirits to endure the trials of childlessness. Keep us ever mindful of the needs of others. Please bless the wife's wombs just once, Lord, whom the doctors have declared barren. Gracious Father, your word spoken in love created the human family and your son. And at this very moment, dear Jesus, we know nothing is impossible for you. And therefore, we surrender all the childless couple at this very moment into your loving and holy presence, asking you to bless them with the gift of being called father and mother by their own children. Bless them and let them not be negatively influenced by the doctors or by any of them. May their faith in you, Jesus, be strengthened and renewed and may they believe that nothing is impossible for you. And therefore, Lord, we bring them into your presence for we know you can do and you will do and we believe in you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us surrender all our brothers and sisters, especially the childless couple, into the loving care and assistance of our Heavenly Mother as we recite, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, make our hearts more open to your love in these days of Easter tide, when you have made known to us the depth of that love. You have rescued us from the darkness of error. Make us adhere more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Let us once again show our love and respect to our Savior Jesus by reverently bowing and surrendering our lives to him. Let us kneel and prepare ourselves to receive God's blessings and believe that His blessings will make things possible which are to us impossible. As we sing the benediction hymn, let us open our hearts to receive God's blessings. Let us bow in
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.